I found these. Oh, I see you found the clue. Don't look, no, but it's on the porch. Well, I'm here, and I don't see anything. Uh, it doesn't say on the porch. It says in the couch. Definitely says on the porch. Okay, well, it's not a handwriting contest. Just go in there and look so I can tell you about Battlezoo Eldemon. Battlezoo Eldemon? Is that what all this is? Yeah, dude. Battlezoo Eldemon is a series of family-friendly RPG supplements for 5th edition D&D and Pathfinder. It looks super cool. It is cool. In Battlezoo Eldemon, you befriend, train, battle, and evolve over 160 original elemental monsters. It's super simple to add into any existing 5e or Pathfinder game without any adjustments by the GM. Whoa, hold on. You could just use the Eldemon powers? If you want to, sure. The new Elemental Avatar class allows you to embody the Eldemon and use the powers yourself. Alternatively, the new Eldemon Trainer class lets you befriend and train Eldemon to battle for you. How have I not heard of this before? They have a bestiary with over 150 award-winning monsters and a new strange and unusual bestiary. Magic items, new subclasses, new monsters. Oh, speaking of monsters, we didn't even talk about the Year of Monsters. Go on. Battlezoo Ancestry's Year of Monsters is a monthly ancestry that will be released every month of 2023. This includes playable ancestries of demons, doppelgangers, dungeons, gremlins, intelligent weapons, oni, mimics, minotaurs, nymphs, she, Slimes, and Stheno. Did you say dungeons? Oh yeah, you can play as a dungeon. They sure do have a lot of content. They also have a card game. The Eldemon Battles card game kicks off next year with Season 1 Fire and Ice, which includes five decks covering 10 elements and including over 60 playable Eldemon. So how do people get this stuff? You can get access to all that content and more by heading over to Kickstarter and backing the project. Discover the world of Battlezoo Eldemon. Click the link in the description and check out Roll for Combat's Kickstarter project, Battlezoo Eldemon, today. Man shorts. Last week, Sarah was rendered unconscious after a duplicitous stripper and a weird yellow guy incapacitated her with a sleeping agent. Just wait. I'll wake up. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Back on the roof, Waylon, you and Lance are balanced on a rickety fire escape as a group of about 50 ghouls burst through the hotel door and onto the roof. Uh, time to go. I'm gonna answer my phone. Laser Falcon? When you answer the phone, you both hear a violently loud crack echo through the air. Laser Falcon? You there? A flash of bright light fills the sky. Whoa! Are we dead? Not exactly. When the flash fades, both of you see a neon green limousine hovering next to the fire escape. A hover limo? Is it Benny? The back door window rolls down slowly. Sarah, you think you feel your eyelids start to flutter, but it's hard to tell in total darkness. Roll perception with disadvantage. 18 and 19. As your eyes try to adjust, you feel around and confirm that you are indeed in the trunk of a car. Are we moving? No, you've stopped. But it doesn't feel like you're at your destination. You hear a group of muffled voices outside. Can I tell what they're saying? Not really. Mostly you hear Candy slash Gidget's voice, but you also hear two others, a man and a woman you don't recognize. You also hear someone say something about patrolling the Mojave and nuclear winter. Patrolling the Mo I bang on the trunk. The voices stop for a moment. Candy slash Gidget screams, die. There are several gunshots, and after a few minutes, the trunk opens. I'm unarmed. The NCR Ranger orders you to step out of the vehicle and keep your hands up. I'll comply, for now. Lance and Waylon, back on the roof, you are met by a familiar face. Hey guys, need a lift? Do we know this guy? Do you know anyone? The ghouls have almost reached you, so if you're planning on jumping, now would be the time to roll for athletics. 17. 10? Lance, you make it into the limo, no problem. Waylon, you almost fall, but Laser Falcon grabs your wrist. Whew. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Do either one of you guys have a parachute? Uh, no. Should we? You're gonna need them. Got some extra ones under the seats. What's going on? I'll explain it on the way to the vault. Limousine, let's boogie. The vault? Sh should we trust this guy? I mean, he's helped us save the world twice before, so... Oh, oh, yeah, I kind of remember him now. The neon limousine shoots away from the hotel, leaving New Vegas in its rear view. Speaking of New Vegas, Sarah, the NCR trooper and ranger are standing a few feet away, discussing your fate. Hey, so if you could just take me back to my hotel, that'd be great. Sorry, if you're talking to them, you can only use one of the four options that I just texted you. Only four? I thought this was New Vegas. To be fair, you're not really sure what this is. Yeah. Fine. Well, I guess I want help, so I'll pick the option that says help. Give me a charisma check with disadvantage. 
21 and 3. Ooh, you just offered to help the NCR, which they're actually pretty happy to hear. Stupid, limited, vague Fallout 4 options. Fine, let's go. Let's kill Caesar and stuff. Saying that isn't a dialogue option. But just like literally everyone else, we'll just say you guessed the best you could. Waylon, as you and Lance fly through the desert, Laser Falcon has opened the floor to questions. So what, uh, what's with all the Fallout stuff? It's called a bleed over. Basically, multiple planes are colliding. Planes are colliding? Oh god, is that why you want us to have parachutes? Not airplanes, Lance. Planes of existence. Oh. Oh. Why is it happening? Mouth Canhawk. Okay, I definitely don't know anyone named Mouth. Who's Mouth Canhawk? He's an evil wizard with plans of total planar domination. At one point he was teamed up with Time Man, but that didn't really work out. So this Mouth guy. He's from, like, the Bethesda plane or something, right? No, he's from my plane. I don't really know about the Fallout stuff. I guess it could be another plane. Like a Fallout plane? Yeah, but... That doesn't explain Johnny Depp or Nick Cage. Although I guess nothing really does. Or the dead guy in the bathtub. Oh, I forgot about that. So how can we stop the bleeding? I'm not even sure you can, but if you're going to, you're gonna need access to the vault. Wait a minute. Where's Sarah? Okay, I've cleared out the NCR camp, killed Mr. House, and reactivated the Securitron army. Why am I not surprised that you're against everyone? I'm not against everyone. I'm just for me. No one doubts that. I can only assume you're headed off to cru Crucify Caesar and then direct Yes Man to throw Oliver off the Hoover Dam. Yep. While you're doing that, Waylon, you and Lance have approached the drop zone, which is approximately 20,000 feet above Vault Negative One. You're gonna go first, right? You'll have to go on without me from here. I don't know how much time I have. Where did he go? He disappeared. So did the limo. You're now free falling. Did he say vault negative one? Yeah. Why? I've just never heard of that one before. Oh, okay. Well, by all means, let's just talk about that right now. Give me dexterity checks to pull your shoots. 20. 20. 22. Somehow the two of you managed to land softly in front of the slightly ajar door of vault negative one. Sarah, back at the dam, Yes Man has dispatched General Oliver, and New Vegas has assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. So you could say I'm the one responsible for a truly free New Vegas? You could. I ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's legion- All right, we don't need to hear the whole Ron Perlman thing. We get it. You did it. As the two of you stand in front of the vault and debate entry, give me reflex saves with disadvantage. 17 and 15. 18. Disadvantage? Oh, I took the plot armor hook. It lets me negate disadvantage if it could kill me. Unfortunately for me, that applies because the two of you just narrowly dodged the lunge of a death claw. Can we get inside? As you turn back to vault negative one, it begins fading away as if being erased from existence. So are we just stuck out in the wasteland now? At first, yes, but after a moment, the desert morphs and shifts into more of a forest. Give me perception checks. Eight. Sixteen. Lance, you don't hear this, but Waylon, you hear the sound of labored coughing. When you look around, you don't see anyone. Just trees. Trees. It must be exposure to all this radiation. We're dying, man! And now the trees, they're talking to us. That's it. Harold. He can help us. Oh, yeah. The tree guy. Sarah, back in the city, it appears that you've eliminated all threats to New Vegas. But... But... The yellow man is back, and he's not alone. His friend has a slight build with wire rim glasses. Roll initiative. 24. The little guy goes first. Give me an opposed grapple. Nine. In one swift motion, the small man zips across the bridge and handcuffs himself to you. Seriously? You're welcome to take your turn, but you'll need to get out of the cuffs before you attack. 17 on escape artist. Sorry, I'm afraid you can't Sarah your way out of this one. Did he just use Sarah as a verb? Oh, pfft. dude, come on. We all know what it means. As you frivolously struggle to free yourself from the cuffs, the yellow man walks over and hits you in the neck with a stun gun. You are once again unconscious. You know, you could just kill me if you wanted to. Oh, I know. Lance and Waylon, as you approach the tree, the landscape begins morphing again. This time, it looks like color is starting to fade as well. How many planes did he say were colliding? He didn't. 
certainly feels like we're just swapping one world for another. The world around you fades to a grainy black and white and morphs from a forest back into a busy city street. Can I at least end the session knowing where I am? Sure. When you wake up, you find yourself locked in a bedroom overlooking a remote farmhouse. Looks like trouble. Looks like Christmas. See you next week. That's what I do when I get angry. My wrists wind up like propellers. And then I take off into the sky. That's how I got here, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was weird with my glasses, but I got the basic idea. Oh, like further up. Patrolling the... M what is it? I bang on the truck. Yeah. I'm going to answer my phone. Laser Falcon? What would the fuck would... Never used a phone before. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't call people. Oh, oh, oh. I was doing the other wrong one. <laughs> I'm just smiling. Did he say Vault Nick? Uh, who am I talking to? Lance. Is it him or you? Okay. A brilliant light flashes across the sky. That's not what the line is. Cool. So yeah, I'll do it one more time like that. I'll explain it out of the way to the... <clears throat> I'll explain it out of the way... Fine. Back at the dam, Yes Man has finished... Dis it lets me negate. Ugh, I know what it is too. Disadvantage if the result's gonna kill me. I mean, he's helped us save the world twice. The where, where? He could be from another place. What? That could be another. This could be another thing. Crucify Caesar and then. Dang it! Hold on. Crucify Caesar and then direct Yes Man to throw Oliver off the Hoover Dam. Yep. Have you ever tried to laugh without smiling? <laughs> <laughs> and neither Caesar's Legion. Mm. I got it. That was twice. Yeah. Should I do it again? Yeah. Nah. So how can we stop? That's so loud. It lets me negate disadvantage. It looks really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I should look real freaked out, right? How many planes did he say were colliding? I'm getting it in there. The guy in the crank's like, <laughs> Steve's coming in. <laughs> Mouth can hawk. Did you see the trailer for the D&D movie? Yeah, let's do it. We talked about that? I think it looks great. But the trailer didn't the wild shape into the owl. Do you know how long I've waited for a good D&D movie? I don't care if they want to shift the druid into a dragon. Fading to black and white. I don't know how to do that. Well, it's really hard. <laughs> how, do, how do I fade to black and white? <laughs> Is it happening? Yeah. <laughs> Are we just surprised that she's going along with it? Yeah. Trees. <laughs> you young kids didn't have to sit through that crap with Jeremy Irons. That was all we had. The end is upon us, I promise you now this is the one no problem with me. So watch how you talking them where you've been walking, they call me the BBEG. I'm more than a little OP, I do what I want to, yeah that's a mantra. I keep them running and gunning like Contra, yo I'm a monster. Turn it up. What you know about the final boss? I got him trying to buy time with the sign of the cross. I redefine high crime and the meaning of loss. I'm off hip, but I body like I'm playing lacrosse. Beat to the beat to the EG, I'm keeping them queasy. I make it seem easy, acknowledge me. I've been demolishing your cities, I'm astonishingly sleazy. I'm the big bad. Y'all must be the cast. I'm killing a master, villain a blast, a disaster. Really a rap bastard, with the rap fast for the masses. I ravage all races and classes. Savage, I can't stop myself. Thinking of all the ways I can top myself. On God, I can move like a devil. I hope you and your squad are ready for the last level that ends here.